Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and this is the stuff I got for Christmas. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We're in a brand new year, right? This is a brand new year. Christmas time is over. The tree is put away. We're all getting back into our regular routines and I thought I would bust out and show you all the Star Wars stuff I got for Christmas because uh, Christmas and birthday, that's the time uh, to get me Star Wars toys. Like that's, that's just what I love. I mean, ever since I was a little tiny kid and uh, Christmas rolled around, I mean, Star Wars merch was already out there, right? I, I grew up during the time that uh, Star Wars merch was out there. So I used to get Star Wars action figures and play sets and stuff for Christmas and my birthday. And so I, I still like that. <laughs> Here I am at 55 and that is still what I enjoy opening on Christmas day. So I got a fun handful of stuff and uh, I thought I'd show it to you. First, I got Mandalorian Uno. <laughs> hey, I love games, right? I love games, I love board games, I love card games. And my youngest son loves Uno, my wife loves Uno. And so I thought, you know what, if we're gonna play Uno around the house, or if you're gonna, you know, try to corral me into playing Uno, I'm gonna play Mandalorian Uno. Uh, plays just like regular Uno, which I like. Uh, I remember the Marvel game that came out, the Ultimate. It had so many new changes and so many new rules. It kind of didn't feel like Uno anymore. This plays exactly like Uno, except they give you one new card. That's it, just one new card. It has one rule, it's the, this is the way card, and it trumps a draw four or a draw two. So when it throws a draw four down on you or a draw two down on you, you drop, this is the way, and now they have to draw four or they have to draw two. But that's, that's the only rule change. I always have a list of DK books that I like uh, on my wish list, and so I got Star Wars Dawn of Rebellion, the visual guide. So this is the book that shows you the beginning of the rebellion. So all the movies that take place uh, before the rebellion begins, uh, some of the TV shows, there's a lot of the ships, costumes, and weapons inside this book. And maybe take a break, something that's not Star Wars. Uh, for Christmas, my brother got me a keychain and a pin from Indiana Jones. So the first is the keychain, it's the headpiece of the staff from the first movie. And the second is a little red cross pin from The Last Crusade. The other thing I got was a baby Grogu red Christmas coffee mug. Now, I can't actually show it to you. This is the only picture I took of it. Uh, I drank out of it for a couple of days and then it went right into the storage box because uh, we don't keep Christmas stuff out all year through. And putting it in the box is a way of like, ooh, I can't wait till next year I get to open the box and I finally get to drink out of my, my mug. So, fun mug for Christmas. And you might remember I did a video last year for the Squadron series. My wife got me a whole bunch of the Squadron spaceships. Uh, this year, I had a few more on my wish list, some of the smaller vehicles. And so my sister got me this really cool TIE fighter that comes with a pilot and she got me one of these little mystery boxes. So if you don't know, there are these little squadron uh, mystery boxes. They kind of uh, feel like micro machines from days of yore. You have no idea what's inside, but breaking this one open, I have Ahsoka and her speeder bike. So that's pretty cool. And another really fun thing I got is this Mandalorian holder for my Alexa. It looks like the lower half of his helmet and then the Alexa, you know, the little Alexa ball looks like the top of his helmet. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to show you how it looks and how it lights up. All right, so this is what it looks like. And you can see that my Alexa is in the top of the helmet, but let me show you what it looks like when it lights up. Alexa, play the theme to The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian theme, chapter one from The Mandalorian by Geek Music on Amazon Music. Pretty cool. And then my parents got me the 40th anniversary tall uh, Boba Fett figure. So he's about the same size as the Black Series. 
and almost looks like the Black Series figure. So this is the Empire Strikes Back paint job, right? So pretty cool. I've even seen this guy at Target. And uh, speaking of Boba Fett, if you're wondering about my armor, uh, just gave another payment to Boba Maker this month. And so I think I have less, I have less than $500 left to go on my armor. And so hopefully, uh, I don't know how it works. I guess he'll probably wait till full payment before he starts working on it. But after he starts, hopefully I get to give you guys some updates and some pictures. Last year, I really got into the Disney villainous game and got a lot of the expansions. So when I saw that Boba Fett had his own expansion, I said, ooh, I gotta get that. And there's three characters inside this. So if you already know how to play villainous, this one box will give you everything you need because you get all the chips, you get all the cards, you get the boards, right? But we are a family of four. And so I had some Christmas money and decided to pick up the actual villainous board game set for myself. And so now with this set, we've got plenty of fun Star Wars villains to play with. And my last gift and the biggest one is this. This is the Comtano safe from Galaxy's Edge. So the last time my wife and I were at Disneyland, I had showed her this and pointed it out at the park. And I said, oh, this is so cool. I said, remember in Empire Strikes Back, there's that guy running through the, the hallways of Cloud City. He's got the ice cream maker. And she's like, yeah, I'm like, this is the ice cream maker. And this is the safe that was uh, featured in Mandalorian. They brought it back. And I said, you know, this is something, this is something cool. And so she knew somebody that was down there in LA and they picked it up for me, which is really cool because I think it's sold out now, or at least it's sold out now on the Disneyland website. I don't know if you can still get this in the parks, but I know it's sold out on the website. But when she got it, she didn't even know it opened. So there's a little code right there on the top and you can put in your own code. So it's personal just to you. You can hold this down. My combination goes like that. And then you twist it and then all the sides open up like that. There's a little light in there that you can see. And so you can put all your valuables in there. Uh, she filled mine with uh, boxer shorts. <laughs> she thought that'd be funny. So this was her way of giving me uh, boxer shorts for Christmas. But all the sides close back up and then you just twist the handle and then it's all locked up and nobody can get inside unless they know the combination. And that's such a big piece. It is such a big piece. All my stuff gets displayed on a, on a bookshelf and I've got some room above the bookshelf, but it's not, it's not that high. And then in my office, I have the same amount of space. So that thing's so tall. I have no idea where I'm gonna put mine. Do you have one? Where did you put yours? Uh, I'd be curious to know. Uh, did you get anything fun for Christmas? Did you get any fun Star Wars stuff? Tell me down below and may the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.